Isaiah chapter number 23. The 23rd book of the Bible is Isaiah. The burden of Tyre. Now this is just north of sea coast, just north of Israel. A major seaport. How ye ships of Tarshish. And that would be um, Spain, Spain area. For it is laid waste, so that there is no house, no one living, in the, no one to dwell in, no entering in. For the land of, of Chittim, it is revealed to them. Be still, the inhabitants of the isle. Now, that's important, because it says isle. Tyre was a city that was on the sea coast. It was attacked. And upon the attack and losing their sea coast, they went out in the Mediterranean Sea, and there was an island there, and they rebuilt a new city, Tyre, on the island. So the, speaking of the Isle would be after their first attack, moving themselves off to the Isle, which later on Alexander the Great would come and defeat them by actually building an aqueduct right out there to the land. Thou whom the merchants of Zidon that pass over the sea, Mediterranean, have replenished, giving you restock. God said to Adam, he says, I want you to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. I want you to do it again. I want you to put more stock. So it's acknowledging that the city, something happened to the city, and now on this island it had to be replenished. I mean, everything was lost. And by great waters, the seeds of Shior, and I got, whatever this note is, I got black river the harvest of the river fish is her revenue and she is the mark you know they were going to one of these little small little gas station kind of places one of these small little convenience stores and usually it's called a mark a shopper's mark you get it from a King James Bible of nation so everybody goes to this place and they do their good. What's likened to it is the Babylon that you find in Revelation. And it gives you a long list of all the things. And when she's destroyed and cast down, all the sailors weep and howl and, you know. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea has spoken. Even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins. No more life, no more population. As at the report concerning Egypt, so shall they be solely, sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Now Tyre will get destroyed, and it will get destroyed again. Pass ye over to Tarshish, howl, ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city, whose antiquity is of ancient days? It is an ancient city. It was a happy city. I mean, they had money. They had fishermen. They had uh, the merchants, everybody coming. But, I mean, this was an important seaport city. Her own feet shall carry her afar off to sojourn. Now, sojourn is a temporary stay. It's not a dwelling place. It's like being in a hotel or, or an inn or a motel. You're not going to stay there permanently. You're just staying and you're going to move on. Who has taken this council against Tyre? The crowning city. In Ezekiel 28, verses 2 and 12. Whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers, people who go through the land, are the honorable of the earth. Princes, 
those that are under kings have stopped off at this seaport. Well-known people have traveled through this seaport. The Lord of hosts has proposed it. To stain the pride of all glory. God does not go with stain. God does not go with pride. You, connect, you cannot connect God and pride. It is a violation for a Christian to say, I'm proud of you. It is a violation for a Christian to say pride. Because God has no pride. God says, well done. For somebody, that, one of the things else they use the word pride is to show you it's not a Christian word. Gay pride. I'm proud to be American. And to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. This will be in a tribulation period. Pass through thy land as a river, O daughter of Tarshish. There is no more strength. He, God, stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdom. The Lord has given a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. He said, Thou shalt no more rejoice, O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon. Arise, pass over to Chittim. There also shalt thou have no rest. And you know what happens when God says you're not going to have rest? You're not going to have rest. A man in hell has no rest. A man that is is in pain has no rest. A man who has extreme anxiety has no rest. Behold the land of Chaldean. This people was not till the Assyrian found it. For them that dwell in the wilderness they set up the towers thereof, they raised up the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Genesis 10.10 10. Alright, so there are examples of what God has done in nations to bring them down. How ye ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day, there's that expression, that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years, shall Tyre sing as in harlot, a merchandise selling itself. Seventy-year king. That's what God says a king should reign. Take a heat, excuse me, take a heart. Go about the city, thou harlot that has been forgotten. Make sweet melody, sing many songs that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her higher, and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. That sounds like the mystery of Babylon. That sounds like the Roman Catholic Church. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up. For her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for the durable clothing. And we close off. About this place of, of Tyre. And it was a great nation. It moved out to the island. It established itself. And then it was reconquered. And it's likened to the city in Babylon that will fall. 